When it comes to hard ops, my favorite way and preferred path is the Q menu. You just press Q, it brings down this drop down menu that gives you access to all of the options. Over the years, the top four options have become dynamically swappable depending on a situation. For example, we see that the first three options listed here is sharpen, which I'll be going into in depth. I'll be going over everything in depth, but we first have sharpen listed, then bevel, then array. And this is because this is a cube. And this cube is what's called a, um, just a regular shape and you could tell because the icon never changed colors if we were to send this through our classic pipeline of going to c sharp which has since been you know redacted it would actually change colors but for now the only time you should really see the logo change colors is when a bull shape is involved so if we have two objects selected notice that the q menu has changed over to showing different options it gives us options to bevel both of them it brings up the mirror so we could mirror object a across object if we needed to but most importantly the first option shown is difference difference is shown to be the majority most popularly used option for two object selection which means that when you click it you can immediately set up a boolean modifier with difference on your object notice that whenever you perform an operation a small display will show up at the bottom letting you know what has happened but also notice that the icon has now changed over to an icy blue just letting you know that this shape has transitioned into what's called a bull shape which really doesn't mean anything, but it does mean that if we were to press Q, the options that shows up are different. So for example, we can now choose to bevel this object. We can now choose to solidify this object and we could choose to array it, which are three things that you definitely would want to do with your bull shape. But that's really just our take on it based on multiple tests over time, over and over and over. However, of course, if you want to access any of these specific options, operations are listed under operations, which I'll be going over the, the why and how, of, how it became this way. And I'll also be going over modifiers, which also, also cycle in this list. For example, adjusting bevel is literally you going and messing with the bevel modifier. And I'll also be going over the modifiers and why each of these exists and our take on them as well as the mesh tools and why mesh tools are different than what we consider operations. But when it comes to hard ops, the Q menu is the most straightforward way to get around and actually get the best out of your hard ops experience. So in most of the content that you see from me, um, actually try to uh, go into box cutter there because I was automatically thinking, but whenever it comes to hard ops, the most recommended path is of course using the Q menu. And you know, there's so much that you're able to do through it, but there's also so much that you're able to do just in general with hard ops that it can sometimes seem daunting. So I'm hoping to shed more light on each of the options and the why of why they exist to try to give more depth to it. 